I will tell you that I observed something happen with Maury that I think is very, very telling to your audience. Maury was dying. He was 78 years old. People would come to try to cheer him up all the time. They would go into his room. The door would close. I would sit outside. They'd come out an hour later in tears. But they'd be crying about their love life, their job, their divorce, whatever it was. And they'd say, oh, I don't know what happened. I went in to try to cheer him up. You know, I have pictures and everything. But after about five or 10 minutes, you know, he started asking me questions. So I started answering. Then he started really asking me questions. Started answering. Then he started really asking me. The next thing I know, I was opening up and everything. And I went in to try to cheer him up. But he ended up sort of cheering me up. So I watched this happen so many times. And finally, I went into him and said, I don't get it. If ever anybody had finally earned the right to say, Let's not talk about your problems. Let's talk about my problems. It would be you. You're dying from Lou Gehrig's disease. You can't move. You're in a chair. You, you, somebody has to turn your head just to make you look at them. You know, they have to reach down your throat to pull phlegm up. You know, you have to wipe your rear end when you go to the bathroom. Yeah. You don't need to be nice to other people. You should have people coming to you. And he, he looked at me and he said, Mitch, why would I ever do that? Why would I ever take from people like that. Taking just makes me feel like I'm dying. Giving makes me feel like I'm living. And it is a profound sentence. And it rhymes, so it's easy to remember. Giving makes me feel like I'm living. And I have lived my life ever since that time with Maury, with that principle tr guiding me as often as I can. And I will tell you that in the 25 years since that has happened, I have never found a sentence to be more true than that. Giving makes you feel alive. And so if you're looking for a retirement that is going to be enjoyable, don't look at it as how many golf games you're going to play because people get sick of golf. And don't look at it how many card games because they get sick of cards and how many trips you're going to take because people get sick of trips and how many cruises you're going to take because people get sick of cruises. Giving makes you feel alive. And if you find ways in which to give to other people, you will never feel the need to retire. You will go right to your dying day feeling significant and feeling alive. 